I've been waiting all day. The rain has finally stopped. I'm going to take the kayak over to Brandon's, the river behind his place. It's only 500 yards from here. I think the best way to do this is get the four-wheeler and hook it onto my utility trailer. That way I can just set the kayak, which is fully loaded here. I'm just trying some stuff out because I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. But uh, so what I've done is fishing rod on one side and camera on the other side. And I know this is uh, this is the 360 camera, so we'll just put it in the fishing rod holder for tonight. And I've actually strapped it to the bungees here, so we can't lose it. And we'll stick the net in behind the seat. However, I'm going to just try fishing because I just want to try casting and see how stable this is. Uh, the easiest way, I think, is to just get everything quickly set up like that. Is just to throw it in that trailer over there and get over to Brandon's. And yes, I'm wearing Crocs because I figure that I'm probably going to get tipped out of the boat at some point and get wet, so that's okay. Alright, easy peasy, right? Just drop it in this trailer, tow it across the road with the four-wheeler, I don't have to carry it. Let's do this. Here we are at the river. There was a couple of great blue herons flew by as we were coming down. They're never here when I have my camera. But uh, let's get this in the water. I, I want to test how stable it is. Just sitting in it, paddling it, casting out of it. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm a dummy. I didn't bring the tackle box. That actually feels more stable than a canoe, considering I just flopped in there. I don't know if I have to change those out or not. Um, so I'm kind of short, I guess. I use the second one and it feels great. The seat is not adjustable, so it, it clicks in here and then there's no moving to the seat. So just depending on how long your legs are. So I don't know, maybe I don't even need to bother changing that out. I'm really trying to figure out how to paddle this thing without water dripping back all over me and it seems to every time. You know, I mean these things don't stop water. They're supposed to, but they're kind of useless. But uh, it feels stable. It feels comfortable. Friggin' bugs. The seat is very comfortable and the boat seems to skim along real nice. You know, Stan was saying that maybe a bigger one longer kayak would you know go better but i mean this hardly any effort and i think i'm probably moving between three four miles an hour it's all you need in a kayak right it's all i need i think this is perfect for me 
Um, and in case you guys were wondering what we're missing out on fish, uh, there's pike in here, there's bass, catfish. No respectable pickerel would come in here. They're, they're all going to stay out on the lake, but we could have caught something tonight if I had remembered the tackle box. But oh well, this is a good enough test for now. I like it. Um, in terms of storage for metal detecting stuff, mm, I don't know. I, you don't know until you try it, right? So I don't want to go modifying a bunch of stuff before I even do a couple trips with it and see what works and what doesn't. So there's a great blue heron in there on a branch right there. Now, would I bring my really expensive cameras in the kayak? Mm, I don't think so. But I do have older DSLRs, which are just sitting there not being used. I'd be very tempted to very carefully take one of those in an older lens, and uh, then I could have got some great shots. Kayak is perfect for sneaking up on things. Uh, waterfowl, you know, maybe moose. I think I'm going to like this. I mean, it feels pretty stable. All right, wish me luck, guys. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about my phone. Put that in my pocket. Nothing to it. <laughs> Normally, I would just be stepping in the water to get in and out, but uh, hey, that's awesome. I'm, I am happy with that. <laughs> 